I've got five of my watches here from my watch box and I've placed them on straps that aren't mine. Well, they are mine now because these straps have been sent out without the need to be returned. They're, they're from this company called Deluxe. Now, the reason I got them on the channel is because, well, two reasons. Number one, a friend of mine actually has these straps on his watches and he loves them. And secondly, Deluxe actually contacted me and said if I'd want to try them and I thought, you know what, why not? Now, after spending several weeks with these straps on my watches, I can tell you some of them are really, really good. But some of them, well, I don't know whether I'd spend the money. So I want to share that with you guys today, having these straps for the last two weeks. So let's check them out. Now, I think it's always good to spend a little bit of money on straps. I've always been an advocate spending a little bit of cash on some straps rather than buying a brand new watch because sometimes we might get bored of our watches. We know that. So when Deluxe contacted me and said, look, do you want to have a look at these? I ended up choosing straps that suit my watches or what I think suit my watches. And i got to tell you, from the get-go, I actually stuffed up with this order because if you look at their website, they've got small, medium, and large for wrist size. And I ended up opting for medium. And they sent me the straps. They arrived safely, but they were the wrong size. They were actually too small. I thought my wrist being an 18 centimeter really would have felt in that category, but they were just, they, they fit, but not the way they should. And I contacted them and I'll tell you what, their customer service was great. So this is why these are on the channel because I like the way they treated me. I know I'm a reviewer. I know they probably gave me, they, look, potentially they could have gave me special consideration. I get that. But they gave me a return label, they got all the straps back, and before I even sent the straps back, there was already another parcel coming with all of these straps coming back out to me. But put that aside, the straps that I actually received, they're quite impressive. See, I've got a combination of ostrich, we've got ostrich straps here, we've got crocodile, we've got some CTS rubber, and also a yellow waxy slim leather. And out of the bunch, that yellow strap, straight off the get-go, has been fantastic. In fact, I didn't even have to break it in. It was beautiful. It was so soft, malleable. It really fits the watch. In fact, it looks like a marriage made in heaven. This Sin is a fun watch for me. And as you can see, the color looks like it was designed for this. So I chose it from the color palette on their website and it's spot on. But it also happened to be a strap that fits perfectly. As in, it's so soft. It's like it was already on my wrist from the minute I opened it up from the packet. So this is a fun summary watch, a fun summary strap. It works. For me, it's perfect but I haven't encountered the same experience from this as I have from these. See, what I've got here is two crocodile straps, and they seem to be made well. There's a nice taper from 20 down to 16. They're comfortable, but they're also firm. You see, the bolstering on these is quite, quite thick, and they pretty much require a breaking period of about two, maybe three days. And then they seem to settle in a particular shape, as you can see. And I reckon the longer I wear these, the better off they'll be. So the crocodile ones on the wrist, on the watches, they look great. I've tried the grey one out with the Omega and the blue one with the IWC and they seem to work really, really well. Now moving over to the ostrich straps. Both of these have been comfortable and relatively soft, almost as good as this yellow one. So it only took about a day for these to settle in. They're lovely. They've got a good taper, very comfortable on the wrist. And as I mentioned, it's just actually good to be able to change up the look of a watch and bring a new dynamic. Especially for this Omega, it seems to soften it up a little bit, a bit more earth and tone. So in my eyes, that seems to work really well. Now, the pick of the bunch has been these rubber straps. These are called CTS rubber. And I didn't know what to expect with these because they're not an inexpensive strap. They look good and they wear even better. If you look at the quality of the actual strap, the rubber, it's actually designed beautifully. My only real gripe with these is that you actually have to cut them to size. So once you size up your wrist and you cut it, it's done. And you've pretty much only got two micro adjustments in there. As you can see, well, it's actually really one micro adjustment, either bigger or smaller, and on this side as well. So my suggestion is take your time in cutting, in sizing, and if you do get it wrong, they actually provide you with a third one. So if I was to cut these and all of a sudden one of them was a little bit too short, there's a spare. And that's the case with bow straps that are supplied, whether this is blue one for the Tudor or the green one for the Grand Seiko. 
These are called emerald green. They seem to match up quite nicely. Again, it just seems to bring a beautiful comfort factor to this watch. So just really experimenting with these pieces. They're fun, they're vibrant. There's a lot of different stuff on their website. I do encourage you guys to check them out. My only real gripe of all these straps, well, for first and foremost, these crocodile ones, they are a little bit firm and they will require a breaking period. But these things, they are a little bit pricey. And if I was to potentially buy this out of my own money, where would I spend my money? And I've got to tell you, if I hadn't tried this, if I hadn't tried this, I wouldn't be spending the money that they're charging. But now that they're here, gee, they're worth their weight in gold. Both these straps, they are just fantastic. As I mentioned, the rubber seems to be of a very good quality, even though spring bars on all of the straps, on everything here, were hardly, they basically hardly showed any magnetization. Secondly, I really like that yellow strap. I think it works, it's comfortable, it's great. And thirdly, the ostrich. I think they're a nice, comfortable strap. They look great. Now, would I spend my money on the crocodile? Probably not. But having found such comfort in the ostrich straps, I don't think I'll be looking at crocodile regardless. Let me know your feedback. If you've tried this company, d -Lugs, for me, as I said from the beginning, apart from the price, the quality seems to be very good. I think the Tudor and the Grand Seiko seem to have found a really nice spot with both those straps. They've been comfortable with the colors, with the comfort, and with the sizing. So I encourage you guys, get on, have a look. I wouldn't have put these on the channel if I didn't like them. I do have straps that get sent out to my channel, which I try out for a week or so. If I don't like them, I don't put them on. It's real simple. Hit me up in the comments if you've experienced this company. Customer service has been great. Product has been great. Price has been a little bit steep. And that's been my genuine experience with this. So I hope you enjoyed that. Be well, be safe. And if you're still on a break, enjoy the rest of your holiday. And we'll see you in the next one.